Amen. Oh, I feel in the Holy Ghost to tell you, church, love Jesus. Love Jesus because God is ready to bless you. Do you know that? God is itching to bless you. Do you know that? God is wanting to prosper you. God is wanting to show his power through you because he knows that if you're magnified, then he's magnified. Hallelujah. He knows that if you're blessed, his name will be glorified. But this is the key thing. He can't bless anyone that always looks for his own glory, that always looks for his own thing. Hallelujah. That blesses something else for the things God has done. Can you hear me? Hallelujah. He can't bless somebody who's blessing other things uh, for the things he's done. Uh, hallelujah. He can't bless somebody when somebody says, it's my talent uh, and my education. That's the reason why I'm here. And God is saying, I'm going to hold it. I'm going to allow your talent and your education to bring you far, so far. But I won't bless you in any extent uh, because you are not going to bless me. You're going to bless your idol. Hallelujah. D uh, uh, God turned, e uh, turned Israel away from him because every time God blessed Bless them. Israel said, uh, it's Baal that served us. Uh, it's the idol that saved us. Uh, it's this that saved us. That's the reason why when God took him out of Egypt, uh, hallelujah, and the children of Israel formed an idol, and the people said, look, there is the God that took you out of Egypt. God came down through Moses from up in the mountain and says, what are these people doing? What are these people doing? And God destroyed them in that day, several thousand of them. Hallelujah. God will bring you out from places. Uh, hallelujah. God will bring you to places that you've never been. Hallelujah. But God don't want you making a calf uh, and saying here is my plaque uh, and here is my degree uh, and here is my office uh, and here is the building that God gave, uh, that, that, that I got uh, and here is the property that I gained uh, and here is the money that I've, uh, I have gained. Uh, God is saying no. Hallelujah. It's me that bless you. It's me that bless you. God is ready. I don't I don't know if there's anybody here that believe God is ready for 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 you to be blessed. I'm telling you now, hallelujah, in my spirit, God is saying, I'm ready to bless you, but are you ready to bless me? <laughs> the devil is known as the serpent. He's known as, as the adversary. He's known as the prince of demons, the evil one, the author of all evil. He's the murderer and the father of lies. He's the prince of this world. He's the god of this world. He's the prince in the power of the air. He's the, in the power of darkness. The Bible calls him a roaring lion. He's accuser of the brethren. The Bible says that he's a thief. All of this have the spirit of conniving in it. All of it has the spirit of deceit in it. All of it has momentary gains, but eternal judgment. All of it has the lure of greatness, but nothing is really great. The word of God tells us that the devil is a former archangel but he can only be in one place at one time he has limits in his knowledge and his power satan cannot do anything unless god allows him to do it he's a trickster he's an unreliable source of information he is the ruler of the earth and he's a general of his personal army of demons. He can adopt a spirit form and dwell inside or possess a person, influence their thoughts and their behavior. The word of God says he's the spirit that works in the children of disobedience. Satan. The Bible says you got to know the devices of the enemy. You got to know what the enemy is trying to do.
But Jesus said, I've come that you may have life and life more abundantly. He says, I am the door. Come in through me. He says, I am the way, the truth, and the life. Jesus said, I am the resurrection and the life. It means everything you need is found in him. Everything that you would need is found in Jesus Christ. We've got to learn to draw the lines for ourselves, brethren. Because the battle is raging, it's constant. Every moment in your mind, you make a decision to live for God. Make a decision to draw towards God. Make a decision to follow Jesus with all of your heart. Be faithful in the things of God. Desire the things of God. Covet the things that be of God and not be of man. And I know we have our bills and things to pay and all these different challenges that we face in our lives. But if you would put God in your life first, he will direct you and crown your efforts with success. I want us to stand.